everybody. Welcome to 2-20-2022, February 20th, 2022. Uh, pretty lazy Sunday today. Uh, I didn't do anything. Uh, not that I wasn't able to, I just chose not to. Chose to rest around the house. That is my freaking cell phone beeping there, sorry. But, yeah. Got up a little later than normal, right? Probably around nine. Um, oh, before that, we um, went to Dave and Buster's yesterday. I did for my cousin Joe's birthday. You know, just celebrated his birthday. Had some dinner, had some drinks, played some games. So yeah, it was fun. It was packed. I mean, it was real crowded last night. So, but it was a good time. Got to see some family members. Got to see some friends. So. Have fun. Um, then we went to tailgates after that. I was pretty, I was pretty exhausted, so I only had a drink there, and then ended up going home after that. But I probably stayed maybe about half an hour. But I just, I was so tired last night. And then I came home, and being tired, I didn't want to go to bed until Gage and Kayla got home, just to make sure they got home safe from his competition, which they won. He was two-time grand champ yesterday for his um, uh, chamber choir and show choir, both won grand champs. So congrats, Gage. Congrats to FC on that. That's Those are big wins right there. Um, but yeah, so I stayed up and just separated cards all night uh, into sets. Um, I have two full sets already, and I still have like two or three more boxes to go through. So... It'll eventually get done. I probably should have done that today, but uh, like I said, I was being lazy. <laughs> so I waited until they got home, and I once I hit my bed, I crashed. I crashed hard last night. Like I said, I woke up at 9, uh, ate breakfast with the wife, had some cinnamon rolls and eggs. So it was good, real good. Um, she took Gage to baseball for her Canes. Um, at least somebody's baseball season is starting because it looks like the MLB canceled uh, spring training today. Uh, I mean, that's what greed does. Ruins a lot of good things. So, you know, you know billionaires don't stay billionaires by giving away free money so billionaires are going to always stay billionaires and you know we're the ones that suffer the ones that value the entertainment the ones that pay for a lot of um the tickets the merchandise we're the ones that suffer but you know it's about those tv rights the tv rights will you know always keep sports kind of afloat and then um obviously fans make it big contribution to that but you know it's all about splitting the money and you know the players want more and the owners want more everybody wants more so if everybody keeps wanting more they're going to eventually butt heads and that's where we're at right now so it is what it is we'll see if we get a baseball season uh, I was really hopeful until I heard that today that they were canceling spring training so all right, we're moving on. Um, I watched the uh, Pam and Tommy um, series that's on Hulu. Watched that. Uh, five episodes, I think, out of the eight are out now. I just started it. Um, I mean, it, it's basically about the guy that stole the video tape from them because he stole their safe because he was a contractor that didn't get paid and fired on the job so he was pissed off so he stole that ended up finding the tape and started making money off the tape I mean we all know the story I mean if you if you were up to date on your news back then you at least heard about the story it's good uh, Sebastian Stan and um I think her Lily James, I think is her name. They're both really good. She plays Pamela, he plays Tommy. They both do a really good job in it. 
Uh, Seth Rogen's actually really good in it. I enjoyed him. He's not that like he has some comedy lines, but he's 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 a little bit more serious in this one and uh, plays it well. I like it. Um, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's nothing, not like spectacular or anything, but it, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, again, it's not safe for children or anything. I mean, you obviously, if it's about a celebrity sex tape, it's going to have nudity and graphic language. And, I mean, it's very, it's very, um, very free with what it shows. Um, both male and female, so it's don't let any kids watch it. Um, you know, would I recommend it? Eh, I mean, if you're just wasting some time or anything, but you're not gonna miss anything by not seeing it. Um, what else? Oh, <clears throat> I think I've mentioned this on here before. But I'm watching Young Sheldon on HBO Max, just the seasons that got on there. I think they got four seasons on there right now. That show is pretty funny. I mean, I like The Big Bang Theory, so knowing most of the characters through that, I really enjoy it. His sister on there is hilarious. Um, both And the brother. The brother's hilarious, too. But the sister is probably the funniest person on the show. So... That's something I do recommend. I, I really enjoy it, and they're quick watches. They're like 20 minutes long, so very quick. Uh, they're nap. That's all I've done today. Like I said, didn't do much. Ate some leftovers for dinner, made a little taco salad. Yeah. Got to go to work tomorrow, so mentally I'm not happy, but got to pay the bills, I guess. It is what it is. One day I'll I'll be happy out of out of the job area, you know. I'm happy at home. I'm very happy at home. Just in my job, I'm not, so and it's not a hard job, it's a very easy job. It's just the atmosphere there is very toxic. But okay, moving on. Um I think this week is gonna be top ten albums. These are albums I listen to all the time, uh, or songs from all the time. And I'm not just talking like the ones that are off the radio. I'm talking about actual songs that they never put on the radio. Those, that's how you know an album's good. You know, everybody knows the ones on the radio. Yeah, they're catchy. Yeah, they're fun a lot of times. But give me the stuff that nobody's listening to. And I used to, I used to play a game like because being a, I'm a Lincoln Park fan. I used to love getting the album the day it came out and running through it a few times. I would say after the second time listening to it, I could tell you what albums that, or what songs they were going to pick to put on the radio. And it almost felt good like when they finally put it on the radio, I'd be like, yeah, I knew that one was going to be on the radio. You could just tell. It, it's like a certain sound and a certain formula of a song. So... I don't know. I used to like doing that. I always found it fun. Some little game I played with myself. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do my top 10 albums. I'll throw some honorable mentions in there. It won't be many because I'm going to struggle coming up with 10. There's probably about at least 5 that I can really rattle off right off the top of my head. So yeah, that'll be it for this week. It'll be top 10 albums. I'm going to start planning the list tomorrow and then uh, I'm going to shoot it um, Wednesday and have it out Thursday morning so Thursday like I said is going to be the day for all my top 10 so top 10 Thursdays I know top 10 Tuesday just sounds a little bit better off the tongue but it's a lot to do Mondays are usually swamped for me I'm so exhausted you know from work Mondays are heavy days at work and then the gym you know you're just tired just tired all right um other than that, if you watch the NBA All-Star game, good. That doesn't interest me. Heard the dunk contest was terrible this year. Uh, I feel like I hear that a lot every year, but I don't know. I've seen some good dunk contests in the past, but I don't know. 
I haven't. I didn't watch it last year, and I didn't watch it this year. And I just, it's hard for me to get in the NBA. I just, just doesn't keep my attention. I'll wait until playoffs. I like watching playoffs. Playoffs are fun. I could probably tell you who's going to win each series too, without even watching. I think I could tell you. So maybe I'll do that. I'll do my picks for that too. See if I can just come in without watching any of the season and tell you who's going to win that series. All right. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And again, I'm going to be putting together that albums list. So I've had some good suggestions. Uh, Kyle Wells suggested I do a top 10 baseball cards. I think I'm going to do that. Or top 10 cards. I'm just going to find my favorite cards. Not like most expensive or anything. The ones that a lot of these are going to be from my childhood ones that I was sought after because that was that one or ones with pictures that I just had to have you know I think that's important for a baseball card is a cool ass picture so again thank you for listening thanks for uh, you know all the comments on YouTube uh, if you could just hit that subscribe button if you want I don't know how it helps me I'm not getting paid for any of this so it really doesn't matter but Everybody have a good night. Be safe. I'll see you Monday. Take care.